Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to write a small Python program to calculate PCR. What is PCR? PCR is puts and call ratio. And from where we can get it? And what is the purpose of puts and call ratio? Let me give you a brief. First thing, uh, if you want to detail about that, how PCR is used, how to analyze the outcome of the PCR ratio, uh, please look, look into some detailed video. Here I'm just giving a background only so that uh, what program I'm writing, at least you should know that one. So like I mentioned, PCR is a puts and call ratio and puts and call ratio is uh, actually if you open the option trading in any of the uh, stock website then we have an open interest open interest for the puts and open interest for the calls which i'm showing you in this diagram here let me go to the pointer option so this is the nsc website and you can see that when this is the calls and this is the puts so we have oi here uh, let me quickly go to the nsc website this is nsc website so you can see that one uh, this is the calls this is the puts and this is the oi OI for the uh, calls and puts. OI is the open interest. Now, if I go to the bottom, this is the total sum of the OI for the calls and total sum of the OI for the puts. Now, this puts and call ratio PCR is basically, uh, if you see the formula here, which I mentioned that one, it is total of the puts OI and calls OI this is used to uh, calculate the pcr ratio and it tells the market trend uh, what is the market trend actually uh, means in which direction market is going for example a couple of the points which i put here that market is in a greedy state or in a fear state means there are more buyer or there are more seller or market is overbought or in oversold state such kind of things you can get it now when we calculate the pcr uh, then these are the three uh, KPI which we consider uh, there is some small variation could be there if you see another YouTube video please look into into those video for more detail like I mentioned that one I am giving only here for the introduction purpose that if PCR is a one then the puts and call sentiments are equal the market is a kind of in a state where you need to wait actually rather than doing any kind of uh, trading and if the PCR is between 0 and 0 0.7 then it is an oversold situation okay and when it is an oversold situation, then there is a possibility that market can reverse. Okay. In same way, if it is between 1 and 1.8, 1 then, then it is in the top state, sentiment is in the top state. And again, uh, we uh, what we uh, uh, analyze from here that market is in the overbought state. So based on that one, you can just do some prediction, uh, some analytics, and you can plan your trading. So let us quickly move that. Uh, move to the right the program that how we can uh, write a python program to fetch this program from the live stock uh, live uh, nsc website okay okay so i am on the command prompt and uh, let me start jupyter notebook In Jupyter Notebook, we can write like Python programs and we can see that execution is step by step. Uh, if you're not aware, um, you can just check some videos and it is very easy. So I have already written the program, which I will walk through. So it's a very smart program. Okay. So I have a three, uh, Python module which I have imported one is uh, JSON uh, for the uh, because actually the data which we get in the JSON format and we need to uh, uh, analyze it actually um, I okay now the second is request uh, request is uh, is the library to uh, scrap the content to, to, to get the, uh, the the web content uh, in the in the Python and Panda is used for this analytical purpose. Okay, so uh, 
this is an SE website okay now um, if we need uh, the these two value uh, let me just uh, go to the pointer again my pointer is not able sorry if we need to f to calculate the PCR as I mentioned in the uh, my slide that we need this total OI uh, for the calls and total AI for the put so of course we need to pull all the data and then from that data we need to scrap these two values okay now uh, if you see that one uh, this is just a URL we cannot use because okay one more thing I am doing this um, for the nifty and you can just change for the nifty or if nifty or bank nifty um, you can change it and accordingly you can manipulate if you face any problem in future just ping me uh, on the on the uh, comment section and I will reply so uh, if you see that when it is a nifty okay if I'm changing to bank nifty it is changing to the bank nifty but here you can see that when you there is no change in the URL okay uh, for example if I'm changing to nifty again you can see that when it is coming for the nifty but no change for the uh, in the URL okay this means that one uh, how we can scrap this data so for that one we need API uh, for this uh, data extraction now uh, if you want to know that one how to get the API uh, I can just explain you but to make this video shorter I have already uh, put all these things in the in the in the detail here actually so you can use this link to the uh, fetch the data for example if I take this link sorry this is some problem and I open in the web page you can see that one I'm getting all this data uh, here actually okay it is a kind of scrap data okay so uh, how I got this API uh, if you want I can just provide you some detail but I will make this video shorter so if you want to change to the bank nifty if you change here bank it will give you bank nifty data so I'm using this API okay now uh, when you use this API when you use this API uh, then uh, when we send a request so see this is the uh, this is the uh, library request which we use that one request which is the python library to to pull the content dot get and we need to provide the url okay and url is this one and we need to provide the header also because this is required to pull the data from the nsc if you don't give the header uh, it will not provide that one so header detail already i have given here and uh, same header I'm providing here headers is equal to header so this header is this one and dot content so what it will do it will pull the content from the NSC website what I was showing you here and then we can analyze that content further okay so let me execute this program shift enter again shift enter so this is executed successfully and uh, see this data is coming in the JSON format so I convert this data to the UTF so that it is more visible okay so now you can see that when this whole data is coming here everything is coming here okay and if I go to the bottom I see that when the CNP this total OI and total uh, is there for the uh, C, C is for the calls and P for the put actually so this is for the total for the calls and total for the puts this is a volume we use this volume also to calculate the uh, PCR but right now I'm using only uh, OI so just focus on these two values okay so from this whole data which we got uh, from this uh, request.get now we need to extract these two information okay now let me tell you one more thing actually uh, what is the type of this data I will just uh, add one more row and let me see what is type type of data so it is a dictionary okay this means that one if it's a Python dictionary this means that one it has in the form of key value pair okay and this is the reason I put here data dot keys to get that what are the keys are there so you see that when two keys are there record and filter 
you can see here if I go on top again it is big data so it is a record here and then if I go uh, filter is also somewhere there in the middle it is basically a big one so maybe I will not scroll so it is keys now the thing is we got the keys this command I executed and we got that one two keys are there record and filter now this information is there in the filter key so what uh, again I'm doing that one uh, okay again I will add one more line to explain you that if I do data and if I filter I'm taking this key and I'm just putting printing what is the type of this data so if you see that one, this is again a dictionary okay and if it is again a dictionary then what is the keys of this dictionary and you can see that one the main whole data is again is a dictionary and that dictionary has the two keys record and filter and our data is inside the filter so uh, I have taken this data from the uh, uh, this whole data uh, uh, content now if this is again a dictionary then what are the keys of this one and I got the keys that it is data C and P so data is all this information okay and keys C and P are these two so this means that one this is again a dictionary and C is a key and P is a key okay so what I'm going to do that one if I execute it okay this already executed again I will add one more line to give you more detail filter and I'm going to print what is the value of CE only okay with my keyboard sorry like I said that was some problem with my keyboard so you can see that one this CE is printing the values for the CE and this was the last one it is printing this one so I got this value but again this is an additionary and this dictionary has a keys to OI total value so total OI and total value now again I can use this total OI key to extract this information from C and then again we can use this total OI to extract this value which is total OI for the uh, puts from this key so this is what I did here actually I use total chai I use data to filter key inside the filter key there is a C key and C key the total OI is basically the total of the OI for the uh, C and this is the total OI for the put so let me print this one okay this total CI is here if I um, print this value so let me print here total CE that is total of the calls which is you can see here in same way I have calculated the total of the puts which is same way that you can see that one I used only key PE here and here I used CE so I got value of the uh, P here and uh, the PCR is ratio is 2P total P and total C and you can see that when it is calculated here so this was a simple program that we can use to calculate the PCR now uh, I want to show you that one how you can combine everything together to write it as a function uh, so that you can use in any other program so I, I just copy paste this whole code in the VS code actually if you see that one I use same library here and I created a function def get uh, current PCR and symbol is uh, the nifty what I put here and here is the code and symbol I passed as a variable the rest of the things header is same thing this whole code you can see that it is the same code what I used here okay you can see that one library this is the URL and header if you see that one I hard coded the symbol here there I in the function I just put as a variable and then uh, I use this request here to fetch the data see this is the same thing then we calculate the data 
based on that keys and you can see that into the same thing which I showed you here this two line I'm quickly covering because already I have covered I don't want to bore you unnecessarily toggling the screen and then I calculated this total P and total C and return it okay so uh, let me execute this program so actually I'm calling this PCR variable and get current function and bank nifty I'm using here so you can see that if I do execute this one and you can see that one PCR for the bank nifty is this one if I use only nifty just I will change here nifty and let me execute it here it is coming point 915636 what was here point 936345 okay I have to save this program and run it again so let me execute again I saved it and the answer is 93641 9363 maybe some slight change if I execute it again how much it is coming nine three seven six so it is changing so you can see that one you can calculate the nine three sixty so it's changing so you can use this function also in your program to calculate the uh, PCR so thank you very much this was a short video uh, if you have any question uh, to write in the comment uh, thank you very much for watching this one